We talk a lot in this business about classics, classic dishes, classic um, restaurants, classic chefs, um, if you will. And I was thinking that one of the things, you know, you try to make a list of what do you have to do to, to be classic. I came up with th three E's. Um, you have to endear generations of customers uh, to your uh, cooking. You have to endure the winds of fashion, which may try to blow you off of your, uh, uh, your, your path, so to speak. And you've got to evoke a sense of place. I think that's really critical in order to be a classic. Now, uh, when talking about uh, the, uh, the classics uh, that we're going to be uh, presenting uh, tonight, um, our list that we will present as classics will join more than 80 other restaurants who have won this award since it began in 1998. Uh, it will, will all, by the way, be featured in a new cookbook that will be out next spring. Now, to help me uh, introduce our first American classic uh, is going to, uh, to come uh, from uh, Brand USA, who's presenting it. Please welcome the president and CEO of Brand USA, Christopher L. Thompson. Come on out. You look damn good in that bow tie, that's all I'm going to say, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Alton. Uh, as the destination marketing organization for the United States, Brand USA is proud to present this year's American Classics Awards to five restaurants that exemplify the varied and vibrant food available across this great country. We hope to inspire travelers from around the world to visit these restaurants and experience the USA one great dish at a time. I'm going back to old Kentucky. My name is Dixon Dedman. I'm the fifth generation of my family to operate Beaumont Inn here in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. For 90 plus years, we've served corn pudding, yellow legged fried chicken, and two year old Kentucky cured country ham. Carrying on the tradition, this is not a job, it's a way of life. It's, it's the way you live your life. The building we're in was built in 1845 as a college for ladies, Beaumont College and then Daughters College. My husband's great-grandmother went here, graduated from college here, and even taught here, and she bought it. Former students would come back and say, well, you, we heard Miss Annie bought this building and we want to see her. So they'd come back and of course you had to feed them, and that's kind of what started the meals. By 1919, she was operating a full-service country inn serving three meals a day. They'd ring the bell, and you knew that there was either yellow-legged fried chicken and two-year-old Kentucky Your Country ham. And wow, could they cook. The ham is a signature item that takes a true craftsman to replicate. We have a great time doing it, and it's a wonderful life. But you don't survive 96 years without, you know, changing. My great-great-grandfather produced Kentucky Owl bourbon up until about 1917 when he was forced to shut down due to prohibition. My father and I talked about bringing back our family bourbon label. You can serve bourbon that's made anywhere in the United States, but Kentucky bourbon makes all the difference. That's good whiskey. Now that's Kentucky. If I hadn't had three already, I'd get one. <laughs> Carrying on the tradition, is a point of pride for me. It makes it really easy to, you know, to go home happy. Four generations have kept it going, and now we're on the fifth. Several generations bring their children and their grandchildren, and they keep coming back. That's heartwarming. That makes you feel like, well, maybe we're doing something right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the Beaumont Inn, please welcome co-owner Dixon Dedman. Thank you. Tonight, I, uh, I stand up here um, as a representative, and I represent five generations of my family uh, and, and the blood, sweat, and tears that have, uh, they've put into to 97 years of, of what we love to do. Um, here with my lovely wife, my parents, my heroes, my mentors, Chuck and Helen Dedman. But I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the previous three my grandparents, Thomas Curry Dedman and Mary Elizabeth Dedman, uh, my great-grandmother, uh, Pauline Goddard Dedman, and my great-great-grandmother, who started all this, uh, Annie Bell Goddard. It is, uh, it is their tireless efforts who have allowed this small town, Kentucky family, uh, to come to the big city for one night and, and rub elbows with giants in this industry. If I could tell the foundation two things, I will tell you that number one, we will leave here with 
renewed energy to uh, continue the tradition uh, that you have seen worthy of this America's Classic Award. Secondly, please know we are honored, we are humbled, and we are deeply, deeply thankful for this award. Thank you.